welcome to mom program chemistry 2016 part 5 okay so this is a very good question related to naphthalene so let's look at the question so you have there the theme of the question is about naphthalene and the first question is when you react it with vanadium pentaoxide and with air air oxidation and some heat what will you get some of you may confuse as well as i i mean as well as me you see that in the b part it has ammonia heat turns into something i don't know what the name is okay the trick is here because this is such a very what say confusing question just look at the same pattern that is similar to this compound of that NHOO that after ammonia heat and you see at the option there are only one which is similar that is number eight so the answer is yeah something option a right I don't know how to how to spell that I mean how to name that compound okay so they turn from ammonia and heat become something right okay now when it added I mean when it reacted with hydroxinium ion it will become something that, that, that is at C and when this something is reacted with potassium hydroxide and water it will become benzene with COOK and COOH and when something it is actually a product when CH3 benzene COOH is reacted with potassium uh, permanganate becomes something here and it is also a product of something and you see here that these two compounds have COOH when it reacted to something it must have COOH here okay and you see that it has potassium hydroxide this something is reacted with potassium hydroxide it only turns the K okay so this actually will result into the option number 12 do you wonder why let me explain to you COOH plus KOH only the K would uh, I mean will change with H is such a called substitution reaction so-called substitution reaction and remember if you have CH3 if you have the strong agent here potassium permanganate it will actually turn into carboxylic acid so the answer is the 12th option okay and now let's look the other option let's ignore this something here you see that there is a uh, blank there okay so naphthalene when it's reacted with the sulfuric acid it's actually quite easy because it's actually the answer anyway if we have benzene instead of naphthalene and it is also reacted with H2SO4 uh, the sulfuric acid with it also in turn to to this one okay so this is sulfonic benzene sulfonic acid this is naphthalene sulfonic acid and reacted with sodium hydroxide and alkali fusion here's the trick guys if you have benzene just remember this reaction if you want to react it with NaOH and you have alkali fusion it will actually turn into so uh what's it uh phenolate right phenolate so phenol and eight phenolate there is o n a so with naphthalene you will turn that into uh naph naphthalene phenolate i don't know what to say that and of course when you react it with hcl you see that here sodium 
much more attractive with Cl, right? Because it has one valence electron, it has a seven valence electron, therefore they much more attached. Therefore, it will result into naphthol, right? You know that benzene and OH become phenol, this is naphthol, right? And now, when this from the naphthalene, it reacted now, it already turns into naphthol, apparently. And it's reacted with NaOH, sodium hydroxide. And do you know what that compound is? CH6H5N2Cl. This is actually benzene with the nitrogen and Cl, right? Just count the compound there, I mean the value of carbon. Now, how to answer this? Well, and you must know how this is actually formed. Remember that nitrogen, when they are bonded with each other, they, they are triple bonded, right? Then C, then L. Because nitrogen uh, has uh, four valences. So nitrogen is somehow bonded with each other. And then this is actually resulted into naphthalene still naphthalene oh then n and and a benzene how do i know this just remember my friend just guessed the answer you see that there is naphthalene and i mean naphthol here with the hydroxy function the hydroxy group, right? You have CH six six H five and two Cl C six H five and two Cl. You see in the option which one has C six H five and double N. You see there is only one, which is the tenth option. So the answer is the tenth option. Now benzene with hydro with hydroxy group and 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 with C six H five. Well, it is actually bonded incorrectly, this bond, right? So uh, this answer is for D is the uh, ONA, which is the fifth option, I believe. And for to convert it with hydrochloric acid is the sixth option. And for this one, you see that you see the pattern there. Let's back to this question. We have CH3COOH with the potassium permanganate become COOH, COOH. Then COOK, COOH, turn into COOH, COOH. Therefore, the, now, the, the answer for A is actually CH3, CH3. And that is the uh, the seventh option. Why this not number one? Number one has that particular uh, position. CH3, one is at the top right and one is at below. But you see that at this, it has just here and here, right? It, it's the same position. Same as this, same position. And these two. Then six is impossible, 11 already taken. Tw number two is impossible because there are uh, halogen there. Then number 12 is, is actually the answer for the C option, the C question. Three is impossible and others, yeah, nothing. What about number 14 option? That is different position, okay? So that is guys, the answer for part five. Pretty much, I tell to you, the trick to answer part 5 is please, just guess the answer. But, I recommend to you to actually remember this. If you have something, let's say CH3OH, and you have a strong oxidizing agent, potassium permanganate, uh, and then sodium dichromate, potassium, what is this? potassium dichromate, it will always turn into carboxylic acid so remember that if you have a strong oxidizing agent 
like permanganate or dichromate, just find the answer that have carboxylic acid. Okay, all right. I hope this is not very difficult. Thank you for watching.